Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to present a new video about how to convert 3D Fluent Mesh to Polymesh in open form. So here is the plan of this video. At first I'll present elbow geometry in Design Modeler, then the uh, mesh generation of the elbow using ANSYS Mesher, then how to extract the mesh in fluent.msh format and finally how to convert this .msh format to polymesh uh, useful in open form so let's start now the elbow geometry in design modeler at first we need to open workbench new project then go and open geometry new geometry right click new design modeler geometry so here we are in design modeler we need to change the units the scale of units from meter to centimeter then in the yz plane we will choose new sketch And we will draw a circle. For the dimension, uh, we will give the diameter of 10 cm. Then we will go to the XY plane and choose another new sketch. In this sketch, we will draw the path of the uh, the circle. We will draw line, first line, then the second line of dimensions thirty and thirty centimeter in the horizontal and thirty centimeter in the vertical line. Then for the fillet between the two lines, we will choose the dimensions of, it's the radius in fact, it's the radius of the curvature, we will choose it equal to 10 cm. Then generate this sketch. After that we will go and choose the option sweep. So what we want to do is to sweep the circle that we draw in sketch one in circle and uh, sweep it following the, the path of the sketch two. This is the idea of how to uh, produce the elbow geometry. Uh, I have to edit the sweep because I did not uh, select the, uh, the correct ones. So for the profile, it's the circle, sketch one, apply, and for the path, it's sketch two. So now we have the elbow, the 3D elbow. We will create a new plane now. The base plane is ZX plane. Then we will choose offset following Y with 30 cm. Then we will choose a new sketch in this plane. And we will draw circle. circle of dimensions of 2 cm. Now we're gonna extrude this circle in order to generate the second inlet of the elbow. So extrude, we will choose the sketch 3 
the geometry then the direction it's inversed since we will uh, extrude in minus y and for five centimeter so here is the geometry of the elbow with two inlets and one outlet and then wall now let's go to the uh, to the second part which is the mesh generation using ANSYS measure first of all we gonna open mesh in workbench and we will copy the geometry that we we have done using design modeler to the geometry that we gonna mesh and then we will open the ANSYS measure So we'll click on mesh, then choose the physics preference on CFD because we are interested to uh, do a computational fluid dynamics study of this elbow. Then, then we will choose the, the orthogonality as factor of quality to evaluate that our mesh is good to be extracted and used in open form. This parameter is very important to take into account uh, in open form calculations because uh, when the orthogonality is bad in the mesh generation using Fluent or ANSYS measure, it's hard to converge your calculations and open phone. And then we'll generate the mesh. It's it's done. So we have the orthogonality, the minimal value, it's 0 0.3. It's acceptable in open phone. And we have we uh, generated an, an, an unstructured mesh, whatever, just to show you how to uh, convert this mesh to poly mesh in open form. Now let's uh, select uh, select the, our boundaries. Let's name our boundaries. The first inlet, we will name it inlet one. Then the second inlet, the smaller one, inlet two. then the outlet in the top and walls i will name it wall So now we have inlet 1, inlet 2, outlet and wall. So our mesh is done now. We need to extract it. So let's move to the third part, which is mesh extraction in Fluent in dot .msh format. First of all, we need to go to options, then meshing, export, we need to change the format of the input file dot msh from binary to ascii we should uh, we should change this option in order to have 
a readable format in open form. So we will change it. Oh, it's okay now. We can export our mesh. So it's export, then mesh, fluent input file, export, and you need to save your file. I name it mesh elbow ASCII. So, and our mesh translation to Fluent was successful, so it's okay now. And the final part, which is the mesh conversion to open form polymers. So now we have the .msh format, how to convert to convert this mesh to readable format in open form, which is polymesh. So here we are in Ubuntu. We uh, we just copied the file of mesh Elboaski that we generated, and uh, whatever is the case, uh, arbitrary case, it must contain the zero constant and system folders. So you just need to copy your .msh in arbitrary case that contain these three folders. So now we will go to constant folder and delete the polymesh folder because it, it doesn't it doesn't concern our case, the elbow case. We will just delete it. And then generate our mesh using the command fluent 3D mesh to form and mesh elbow dot msh so it's okay now it's converted now we have a new poly mesh generated it contains our mesh uh, elbow mesh uh, in open form format so we have boundaries the boundaries that we defined in ansys uh, measure Inlet 1, Inlet 2, Outlet and Wall. We will change the Inlet type from Patch to Inlet for the two. For both of them, Outlet also from Patch to Outlet. Then what we need to do in order to, uh, to set our case, in order to display the mesh in PowerView, we need to uh, copy these boundaries in the uh, the files in zero folder. Here we have the pressure and the velocity. So, when opening the pressure, when opening the pressure, we will find different boundaries. So we need to adapt it to our boundaries. So we will change the inlet to inlet 1 and then we will copy it the same setup for inlet 2 we will keep the outlet walls and we will delete the other boundaries so now it's okay for the pressure whatever is the uh, the boundary conditions the type it doesn't matter in order to display the mesh in paraview we just need to mention that we have these boundaries similar to what we have in the polymesh folder. So now for uh, we will do the same for the velocity. Mm, inlet one, then we will keep zero, whatever. We will copy the inlet one to inlet two. Then we have outlet and we will delete other boundaries. So now it's ready to be displayed in Parafone.
just apply and here we have our geometry of the elbow we change the solid color and here we have our instructed mesh that we generated using ANSYS Mesher and we convert it using the command Fluent 3D to Mesh 3D Mesh, uh, Fluent 3D Mesh to Form so here we gonna show boundary by boundary the inlet 1, so here it is then inlet 2 then the outlet in the top then the wall of the elbow so here is our elbow in open form that we can uh, we can launch our study our cfd study using uh, solvers like eco form simple form or whatever is adequate to your case what you want to model what you want to describe physically so that's all for this video thank you for watching and see you in next video